Hello everybody, WeeBrabbit here, and welcome back to Pac-Man World Repack, and this time we are diving into part 5. In the previous his face, I think so surprised. In the previous part, we defeated the space area, and we fought King Galaxian, I believe was the name of the guy. And with that, we unlocked the ruins area. So this time we're gonna run, we're gonna run, uh, we're gonna dive into the ruins area, and we're gonna see what's what's next, you know? Because I feel like it's a short game. I feel like we're we're getting pretty in there. So, uh, Legend of John is here as always. Say hello. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back. All right. With that being said, we're gonna jump in. And if I remember, Legend of Jonathan was gonna tell us what he thought about the "Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared" TV show. Okay. So is it so it's different from like the web stuff, right? Uh, yes and no. Okay, so this first episode, I honestly did kind of feel like the web series, like the, the like the, the first like half of it. Um, obviously this isn't really a spoiler. Everyone kind of saw it too. Like people talked about it like kind of too. Like they gave us a whole like basis thing. Yeah. Um, yellow guy, red guy, and B duck. They are so bored that randomly a friend gets invited himself. He invites himself in. And he calls himself, like, I think he's like a briefcase or some stupid shit. <laughs> okay. And he has a briefcase. And he says, if you're bored and you have nothing to do for the whole day, why don't you go and work? And so they explore the wondrous world of working. Okay. And they go to work. First. But other than that, there is some, like, obviously the typical stuff from the web series. And, but obviously that's kind of other stuff and that would be where the spoilers kind of start to happen. Yeah. Okay. But um, the first episode was pretty good. I liked it. Um, same thing. It was kind of like the web series. Like you'll start normal and get weird. Mm -hmm, it starts to get creepy and stuff. So that's what I'm saying. It really does like uh, like, that, like I'm saying, it doesn't like feel kind of like they, like they made it bad. Like oh my god, they ruined it. The creators. It's like no, they literally like did the formula well with the TV show. It's just it's like they expanded it more basically. Interesting. So it's not just oh yeah, the, the episode focuses on okay. Duck, and obviously at the end Duck gets killed, and Yellow Guy's the last one there. Or oh my God, it's Red Guy at the end, and the other two are gone. Like no, here it literally is like it focuses on everyone, and it shows like everyone's personality, and it shows everyone's stuff, what's going on, and it shows like all the creepy stuff. But it's like it, it feels really well like written basically. Mm, that's cool. So yeah, that's why. Oh shit. Yeah, you didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I was gonna it. jump. Like I wasn't gonna like stay on it, but. Um, I liked it a lot. I thought it was a pretty cool episode. That's cool. So what you're saying is that it's your favorite TV show ever now? No. Yes. I remember my friend Quish because that's the thing too. I, I he even said he's like, yeah, we should watch the first episode because he had already kind of seen the stuff already. But I'm like, you know what? I guess I'll watch it with you. You know, whatever. <laughs> But then you did it. No, I did. Um, and like this kid was getting so into the freaking lore. Oh Jesus! Like he's like, yeah, cause like Roy, which is the dad of the yellow guy. He's like, yeah, like, 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 like. Have you ever seen like the interview where he's like, yeah, I'm gonna take my son to Punish Land, blah blah blah, and this and that. And I'm like, yes, Quich. I literally saw that when like Matt Pat made a video about it like years ago. Like I literally still remember that. Like, oh God. So he's all into like all the background stuff. He's always into like theories, yeah. And I don't like I'm not saying that I don't blame him, and neither is the theories like interesting in the lore. It's just like the thing too is that like at that moment I was like, Quage, what's like, I'm just trying to watch the show. Like, I'm just trying to watch the show and appreciate the creepiness and like and he's getting all into it. And like the fact that it's supposed to look like Sesame Street basically, but like a British broadcast show, you know. And like it was just funny that yeah, he was getting into it. That's funny. Oh wow, uh, that's uh, funny. Yeah, that was funny. Like, what? He slipped off the edge. He's flying. Yeah, he just like fell in. Yeah, that was really, really random. I didn't expect that. It's like he slipped. Oh damn! All right, careful. All right, we need a pack dot to pull it to defeat these guys. Maybe over here. Yo, I just saw the things. That kind of remind me of something. Right? I haven't watched Ursa Yatsura in a while. Oh man, are you getting withdrawals? Yeah. You're like, it's been too long! No, actually I watched it like last week, but... 
That's still too long for you, it's though. It's too late. You have to watch it every the week. The last episode, it was, like, really confusing. I don't know oh, what man. it was supposed to be. Oh, my God. I'm just trying to get around these Dude, areas. it's because you keep walking into it. You keep forgetting everything is not Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get around stuff, but, like... Oh. I never saw Pelts defeat those guys. It's a weird part. That was really weird. Wait, did I get a fruit? I, 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 unless it was... Did I maybe get a fruit they're going to defeat them, actually? To open the door, I mean? No. Maybe not, but I was saying it probably is like oh, weird. Is, it's, 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 probably weird it. it's probably a weird gladiator thing, that's why I want. Because in gladiator and stuff, like in actual, like the point of like the fights, there was a lot of situations where they would be like, no man, like it's literally you just like stand there and you get yourself killed. So I guess that was the whole point. It was kind of like Pac Man's just defenseless because that's literally the point that they have that whole like vibe of, hey, we're supposed to kill you basically. See, I told you. Oh, never mind. They're trying to get all deep into the shit. Yeah, like players. Get so what are you talking about? Get, get, get deep into the Pac-Man lore. That was not enough time to get everybody. That was bull crap. That wasn't enough. Oh, that more. Okay, good. I was saying, if not, that was bull. No, man, that was enough for you. Yo, that giant Pac-Man reminded me of the time that dude used the cheats in real life. <laughs> I'll just, oh, that's stupid. <laughs> just start talking about it. How do you use chicken? I still get it. Yeah. Awesome. And then, like, how did he even input it into the car? Like, like, think about you. Oh, shit. Yeah, never mind. You need the freaking power up. I was like, could you imagine using the freaking stick? And you're, like, reversing, going forward. Oh, damn it. I used this spider. Was it dark? <laughs> okay, let's see. You can do it. Uh. Like, you reverse, then you forward, then you, like, go to the left, then you go to the right. Like, I'm telling you, like, that And somehow the car understands and it speeds up. Like, somehow. I'm like, wow, how did you even do that? I'm telling you, like, uh, and, uh, and did, was it Adam Sandler the one that directed it, or, like... No, he was acting it. Okay, so it was someone else? Okay, good, because, like... I was if that was, like, came from Adam Sandler himself, I would be like, dude, like... Like, come on, man. Arizona doesn't direct stuff, he does arcs in it, that's it. I thought he made... He made movies, like, directed them. No, oh, he produces them. Okay, the, point, uh, the point is, he produces that movie, and, like, I feel like he, he should have been involved in it. He should be like, no, this is, like... This is too much, guys. Like, he's like, this is not, like... like this is discrimination against the 80s kids. Oh. He's like, no, no, it's too low. Get out! <laughs> It's too loud. Man, that reminds me. I still want to freaking convince Shrift one, one day if we ever get to it. It's probably gonna take forever. I still want. I still want to get him to play Sonic Adventures. Like the like the the, the, the which version though? Like the. Mean? Well, I mean Sonic Adventures because it's the first two, but like there's a GameCube version. There's oh, I'm so sorry. I mean, no wonder you're like which one? Star Fox. Star Fox Adventures. Yeah, because we were even doing the dude's like quote, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then the, when he said Sonic, I'm like, dude, but which one though? Like, like Sonic, you're confused. Like literally one. There's like the freaking first and second game for the Dreamcast. Yeah, no, I and meant. There's GameCube versions as well and all that stuff. Like. Yeah, no, I meant um, yeah, Star Fox Adventures. Yeah, because I knew you wanted to always convince him for like the past like three years by this point. Yeah, it's just he has. <sighs> he has other stuff. The Chrono Trigger is hard. But yeah, I, I've always wanted to convince him to play um, freaking Star Fox Adventures. I think it'd be really funny. I'm number not one, doing it. Yeah, number one, I just want to laugh at him because I know he's gonna mess up with the law of the platforming shit. Oh, he sucks at platformers. Yeah, so I want to. Oh crap! Like, I remember when Sunshine would be like, Jonathan, he's so good at the game. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, you're over here doing all these tricks and shit. And then him, I guess he like felt triple like, jumps and like getting no, stuff. No, I did a triple jump. Then I looked up at P. Piranha and sprayed him. That made him fall. That was like a cool combination of stuff. And then I would do like the tricks and everything. And then the thing too is, I remember how like um. And I, I, literally I, cut to terrific, just slowly jumping and like. And like he would fall all the time when he was on the carnival and like. All this dumb shit. Yeah, he was That's like, I can't do it. <laughs> Okay, it's your, all you gotta do here is just a back jump. You never learn how to do like a back jump properly. He never did? I don't think so, I don't remember. Oh my god, dude. I don't remember. Anyway, oh, I know, I'm telling you, were you there when um, when I started the playthrough for Sunshine, how like there was like a kid in the chat that he was like trying to talk shit about me? Oh yeah, I didn't remember something like that. Okay. Because that was the time I was I... watching you, and I told Trigger about it later, so that sounds familiar. Basically, I'm telling you, 
I love how I was so stressed, but yeah, I was able to perform all those tricks like without like messing up basically. Yeah, yeah. So I'm telling you, like, yeah, even then I was like under a bunch of like stress because I'm trying to like like ignore this kid, but then he keeps going and going and going. It's being annoying. And like annoying. That's the thing too. I'm like, where did this kid even come from? Like, yeah, I think they just saw you were streaming and somehow just showed up. And like also, I guess like the thing is like I don't know, maybe he was having a bad day or something like that. And like it was dumb because like he had like a freaking Bowser profile too from Sunshine as well. Like particularly from maybe he's obsessed with Sunshine, so he felt you weren't like you weren't doing a credit that it deserved. I, don't know. I guess or like I don't know. And like the kid got mad because someone was like, "Oh yeah, Bowser's big burrito over here," and blah blah blah, and like <laughs> Bowser's big burrito. Yeah, because <laughs> Bowser the hell. No, and like they were even saying like they're like, "Dude, you're like those ex, like those like girlfriends that are toxic, where they'll like be mad at their boyfriend for like not paying attention to them all the time." And then he, like, you're like, dude, this is basically what it feels like. Because, like, and you're, you're, like, like, the person was even saying, like, I don't know if it was you or someone else. That's what I'm saying. Like, I forgot. But they, like, it was literally, like, something like, oh, yeah, like, like, you know, like, wait, you want to play Fortnite or, like, <laughs> and, like, be streaming at all the time? Like, hey, wasn't he, like, mad you were playing? But at the same time, he said, like, he was just sitting there watching. So, like, yeah, he would complain about everything. He would say that I had really shitty trick shots. But then, like, the way he would put it in the chat was really stupid, too. He was, like, uh, more like a, a, a crappy tr trick shot. And, like, how's that a good comeback? Like... It's the best comeback. I guess, but, like... You don't understand. No, I do. <laughs> See, you need to go back to playing Fortnite so you can learn all these... Oh my God, you no. can learn all these terms correctly. These kids wanted me to do the gritty today by my Fortnite. Oh, gosh. So my dumbass, I looked up a, pic a gif of Vegeta doing the gritty just so I can learn how to do it. And you did it and everybody laughed at you. No, I, I, I actually was looking at it and I was like, dude, this is impossible for me to do it. Oh, and it was dumb too because the kids were like, if you can't do the gritty, you get swift. Uh, sh uh, um, how do you call it? What's the other dance called? I don't know. The point is, this, like, the other dance. And I even, I was like, I can't do that. And like, but, like, just try. Or I forgot what it was. I'm like, no, I can't do it. Like, like stop asking me to do all these complicated shit, bro. Damn, I killed those fish. You saw that? Yeah, you like slammed into them. I murdered them. You like broke their bones. I broke them puppers' bones. Yeah. And then my yeah, I actually got it. Hey. I missed the C in the end, though, I think, which sucks, but... Well, at least I got the maze this time. Oh, this is gonna. Hopefully, this is not the lasers. You remember the one with the lasers was no, actually it hard? It looks like it doesn't. The one with the lasers are hard because, like, the lasers were just. Oh, it has rocks, so it sucks. Oh, shit. <sighs> okay, yeah, no. Damn it. Use use the D pad. It doesn't really make a difference. It's still the same thing. I'm still having to play the level. It makes, it makes everything that doesn't good. Oh. Oh yeah, my friend eventually blocked him on there. Cause like I even told him like, please remove this little bastard from my chat. <laughs> like, please. oh, like moderator. Like yeah, my friend was a moderator on his old account. Yeah. I told him like, can you get this annoying bastard out of my chat? Jeez. Cause it really was getting on my nerves. I even said I was like, dude, like there's no way like I can just like let this kid keep talking. Like, yeah, 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 I get what you mean. Probably was annoying trying to focus and then and then like also just like, being like annoying and like saying stuff doesn't even like make sense and like it's not all cringy and but then it's like like even if it wasn't like bothering in the sense of like it was like, a, like it was hurting it was annoying in the sense of like come on i'm trying to stream i did it and be in peace and stuff and like you keep ruining it yeah that sucks basically everyone told him to fuck off in the chat <laughs> Jeez. no i'm being for real my friends and that person um they they, they they straight up just told him like yeah like oh great like to like f off and i was like thank god <laughs> you're like they said so i didn't have to yeah, basically. I mean, I started talking, but that was once they, like, almost blocked him. That was like, dude, you're really annoying. Like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Why, why go out of your way to go watch the stream of somebody you don't like and just be talking crap? Like, go do something yeah, better with I your time. Yeah, I told, um, like, my friend, well, let's be honest, this is 2020. I was barely, like, out of eighth grade because, um, the, the pandemic had happened. Oh, dude, it was something so, like, maybe it was some kid from middle school that he was, like, like he hated me or some dumb shit or he wanted to talk smack. Yeah, and I told him, I'm like, oh, because um, the, the user said Dominic something. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it must have been that little bitch Dominic from like middle school or some shit like that. I said, it wasn't. It like, wasn't. It wasn't. Where's the fruit I'm supposed to get? I don't know. I thought I already had it, so I didn't even have it. 
That's weird. I even said, I'm like, oh, it's that little big Dominic, blah, blah, blah. And Jeez. it wasn't until, like, he followed me on, like, Instagram, like, years later. Then I'm like, wait a minute, this is the wrong person. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Obviously, I never said anything to him, because, like, I never interacted with the kids that much. But yeah, I was just super, like, dude, these kids. Oh my How am I supposed to avoid that one? I thought you could like, go faster and then, but it doesn't seem like it makes a difference, so... So yeah, we're just gonna go all the way to the... We're just gonna keep going, basically. After some retries, we, we figured it out, right? And the ending was right here, too. That's, like, somewhat annoying, too. So we kept failing that close to the freaking ending. How sad is that? Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> Tom man. That's what I was trying to say, yeah, Paul man. I never saw a C. I don't know what the heck it was. I got no tokens this time. Damn. Oh no, he did. He just had to throw them in. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, I thought he just. Ooh, what the heck is that? I want a fever. Oh, it adds more cherries, I guess. And it was just. It was only. It's only cherries and uh, oranges. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to help us, we still freaking can't do it. <laughs> That's sad. Okay. Do it one more time. Honestly, with slot machines, I don't know. Oh, uh, you saw I, I was supposed to stop. You saw it, right? Yeah. No, but I was saying, I don't usually do that. I just, like, slam. I, like, press it, like, 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 thing up. Yeah. A second. I go, like, per second. So I, like, click it extremely fast. And it leads to, like, almost, like, like, 80% of the time, it gives me, like, 100 like, all three. Nice. So that's what I was saying, like. Here, I don't think it would work, though, because they all start, like, different. I don't know. All right. So... Yeah, we had some trouble there, especially if we had known that it was just the end. We could probably save ourselves some time, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, here we're gonna save the doggy, so that's cool. No. no that's not cool. Do you wanna save the doggy? No, I don't. You're like, it's an abomination. Especially, like, in the second game. That thing was ugly as fuck. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> almost amazing. Like, why would I want that shit, bruh? Oh, god. You're like, it's ugly. It can die. It can die, bruh. Oh, I get it. We're not supposed to hit that guy. He has a spiky hat. There you go. If you hit that guy, Pac-Man's butthole's gonna get hurt. Which sounds like I'm messing around, but he really his butthole really will get hurt. It probably would, yeah. You think Pac-Man has a butthole? Most likely. Like, even though he's round, it's kinda weird. Well, I mean, also the implications supposedly are like... And we know he has a penis, because he has a child, so... Yeah. No, but I was saying that the, the, the thing, too, is we do know that, like, sometimes he'll, like, throw up, like, the ghost, or, like, even people, or, like, like, well, not people, food that he eats. So maybe that's how he, like, like, that's how he gets wasted out? Like, he just straight up throws it up eventually? Oh. But maybe. then the thing, too, is that we also know, like, like, this isn't canon, by the way, guys. I'm sorry for not using canon, like, sword. But the cartoon... The, the, the ghost adventures they have a bathroom in their dorm so uh, they nice. must so they must pee and poop you know and then like the implication too is like i think the imp the like there was an episode where he eats tacos or some shit and he does go to the bathroom so like yeah huh. and then like the thing is when he has like acne because he's a teenager oh um, oh shit and then totally for some not. reason that was like a whole infl inflation like episode and shit. <laughs> inflation. No, literally, because he's like a weird giant like balloon for some reason. I know, it's I mean, really, yeah, um, and then he has like the pimples and shit, so it looks all like this nasty. Um He literally goes to the bathroom and like he literally is in the school bathroom. Like there's like a bunch of stalls and shit. That's weird. Oh, and they shit. have like the urinals and everything. That's so weird. it shows that like there is like a freaking bathroom in the series. And then, like, the ghosts, they help him put the freaking, like, makeup on to, like, hide it. But then, like, because he's, like, a nasty teenager, like, the the, the, the pimples get worse. Okay, is he supposed to, like, jump through the freaking little spots? Uh, kind of. Like, the little curse spots, you think? See, I see I was able to go away from it? Earlier, like, wouldn't let me do that. It would just be, like, the moment he touched it, no, he would already, like, like get hit. It was weird. Oh yeah, the loud, the loud house people. I just remembered. What about them? So basically, in that freaking yeah, like the the Noki Bay thing, they show up randomly. 
And they announced, hi, my name is Lincoln and I am from the Loud House. And I'm like, okay. Hi. Sure. Then other people show up from the Loud House as well. Like people role playing or something? Yeah, role playing. And they're like, hi, and then hey. And then like they started acting like they were like the characters. It was all cringy. And then I forgot what it was. It was all creepy. And they're like, hey, do you like have donations and stuff? And they would like be asking too many questions. And I was getting and I was getting like really anxious and overwhelmed. And I was like, oh, <laughs> like I was freaking out. And then like I forgot what the dude did. But then like I, I think my friend like blocked one of the people on there. And like he's like, if you don't want to block my friend, like I don't know, I'm like, I'm not gonna give you Robux or some shit like that. I'm not gonna give you Robux. And I was like, okay, I even said I'm like okay. Like like I I guess. And then like like I forgot what he said, but like it was really dumb. And then he's like, okay, what's Mario's like political stance or something dumb like that? <laughs> and I'm like, how what does that even have to do? But I was like, but like I'm like Mario doesn't have one though, like like, That's like, so like, random. Like, like, canically, he doesn't have one, obviously. Like, and Miyamoto could literally be like, no, man. Like, Mario literally was, like, from Brooklyn. So, like, last time he was in the United States was, like, the 80s. So, like, blah, 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 president. Or something. And so everyone could be like, oh, so he's a part of this party or whatever, right? Yeah. But, like, the thing, too, is I'm like, like, but Nintendo doesn't, like... What the hell? Like, Mario doesn't have... Like, it's not, like, a series like that. So it was, like, really dumb. How did he get up last time? He's not getting up anymore. There you go. It was like really dumb when they said that, and I was like, "Oh no!" What's tomorrow's political party? Uh, oh. far, no political stance, and what? I don't know if it was racial or political stance, but I'm like, dude, like that's so random. It was such a random thing, yeah. That's funny though. And like, yeah, the kid like said that, and like, I don't know, man. It was like, like there we go. 2020 was a time. That was a time. Like honestly, like early 2020 when it was a pandemic and stuff. It was Maybe a time. And then the thing too is I was getting back into video games because like like for a while like I just didn't like find them like enjoyable I guess you can say. Like even games that I kinda were interested in, they all just straight up be like, no, nah, I'm gonna play it for like five minutes and just never play it again basically. So like I kinda was bored and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play a Kirby game, we'll play Kirby and Amazing Mirror, and that's what kinda got me back into video games. Yeah. So like I was like, oh good. So you can say Kirby saved your life. I guess you can say that. <laughs> I guess. Dumb. Well, no, and I played Shantae as well. I, 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 I played the beginning of Shantae and the Seven Sirens, and I beat it as well. That's cool. I never gave up on the game, yeah. Oh. I probably Kirby saved your life. Yeah. Honestly, he's a real G, bro. He kisses his homies. Look, 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 Just jump across just, the freaking thing. He just jumped in the flames. Yeah, it looks like he wanted to die. Like, just bloop. He's like, that loud house caught, uh, role-playing was really cringy. That's funny, I'm not gonna give you a Roblox thing. You're like, what the oh, hell? I, even, I was like, okay, and I don't even play Roblox. Like, like, well, I don't know, they thought it was gonna hurt you, I guess. I, don't know. I guess. Oh. So the day he'll feel sorry. Yeah, I guess. You'll be one of the sorry people. <laughs> You'll be, all like that one kid. That King Curtis. King Curtis, he's like, she treats us as though like we're like the sorry people. And he like, he's like, I'm packing my bags. <laughs> he like walked out. Honestly, that was kind of sad, where, like, apparently, no, nah, they would never eat anything, like, healthy, like, at all, like, ever. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, like, if anyone, like, ever, if they ever, like, find out, like, how to, like, deep fry a salad, we'll give that a try or some shit like that. And then, uh, the dude's like, <laughs> he's like, this is the embodiment of America or something like that. He's like, one strip of bacon at a time. And I was like, damn. Oh my god, dude, that was, like, great. <laughs> oh my dude it looks like you sort of just jump across right but nah but he doesn't want to bro at least you have to keep the stuff you saw it right least... yeah oh boy i thought he curse was all right though like i get it he sounds kind of like a brat but like a lot of people point out it makes sense like some random ass lady comes into his house starts throwing all his food away no like, and the lady was all obsessed with her. supposedly they wanted to live to 100 years old or some stupid shit like that and they would like only take like supplements and they wouldn't even actually they would eat like vegetables and supplements and all of it and people are saying that's not really healthy either like you need protein like meat basically to like the diet and then like they would like exercise from like 3 a.m to like no from 10 p.m to like 6 a.m like non-stop there was no stopping apparently and like apparently like they would never stop and if like a person threw up like a uh, like, cause it was like a they, they would like exercise with women they would tell like the ladies no 
Now that you threw up, you have to come back. You can't, like, take a break Jeez. or anything. So, like, that's what I'm telling you. Like, they were all exaggerated and stuff. It's all almost like abusive. Almost. Yeah. Oh, damn. And then, like, the sergeant dude, like, the, the husband of the lady, like, apparently he, like, grabs the freaking kid's, like, his son's, like, mattress, and he, like, grabs it and drags it out the window, like, the door. And he tells the kid, okay, now we're gonna put the bed together. And I'm like, you literally dragged it into the freaking wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. No, I'm remember. telling you, that's what the kid Yeah, the all I remember is the King Curtis. I remember their parts. That's yeah. funny. And then, like, the kids, like, I have nightmares sometimes where, like, the vegetables, they come back and they, like, they try to eat me. And the guy's like, all? and then the guy says, wow, he has that Veggie Tales rated R edition playing in his head at night. Oh my god. <laughs> Veggie Tales rated R. Yeah, instead of like like Christian stuff or whatever, no, it's it's just a horror. Thing. It's all like free. They're gonna kill him and crap. Yeah, that's pretty sad. <laughs> oh yeah, that was like a freaking. Oh my god. Dude. King Curtis. And then King like... Curtis's dad was like really like. I forgot what it was, but he was like, I, I don't need me a, pa a manicure because I just bought my nails, and we look as good as me. Um, nothing could go wrong or something like that. And then the no. dude's like, dude, look at this fat brat kid over here with his freaking... <laughs> supposedly say he doesn't need a manicure when he literally, like, bites his nails. <laughs> Alright, make it work. I think so, huh? Yeah, you... Okay, yeah, you can make it over there. Right, I say uh, that literally as you make it. I'm like, die. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, you're fine. Just oh, die. it's like... Dude, that's what I actually would spend most of my uh, freshman year during like 2020 and 21. Mm -hmm. I would literally do this during class because it was online. So obviously the teachers can't like look at my screen either. Uh -huh. I would literally look up Super Mario 64 rage compilations of like speedrunners and stuff. Why? I don't know. I just was bored. And that was funny. And I found it funny because there's like the, the first video where like a dude, like he like screams and the guy's like, did you get it? Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you get it? Yeah, I remember that. Did, did, did you get the star? Yeah, it's all dumb. It's always like he's all and upset. And then the guy's like, no. And then you didn't get the star. Ah, oh, I couldn't get the fucking thing. Yeah, that one I think I've seen it. It sounds familiar. Yo, that was funny. Like, it, it's, it's all obvious he's all no, upset. And you can tell it was like kids too. Yeah, it's all obvious that he like lost or whatever. The screamed. dude's all like... Did you get it? <laughs> no, you know what that reminded me? Because, I mean, obviously, that was like 2020. So this is when me and Qu my friend Quage and David, we all hung out like together yeah. like on Discord. That's where it reminded me of. That Quage, whenever I would play and I would get mad or something or whatever, he would like respond with like the weirdest responses. And that's what it reminded me of. Because he's like, oh, dude, just avoid it. Don't even try to like interact. Yeah, see? That was scary. Yeah, attack it. Oh, I need to get back to Wind Waker now, I remember. Damn it, what the hell? Because I was streaming that and recording it now? Yeah. I need to get back to Wind Waker. Yeah, Wind Waker's cool. Um, the next dungeon's the Earth Temple. That That's where I kind of stopped, oh, too. Oh, you bastard. Not only because, oh, well, school and then the streaming thing was crappy. It's literally because I'm like, no, dude. With all the stuff I'm doing with school where I'm, like, having to do a bunch of work. I'm missing something, look. Honestly, you are, I think. Go back. His gloves kind of look pink with the lighting. Nope. Oh yeah, you probably need to get that switch. How are you in there though? Kill the guy. You know what? Nope. Oh, you can't kill them? Yeah, what am I missing? Oh! Wow! I was just gonna have to And it's like, nope. What about... I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do you see anything? No, that's what I'm saying. I don't really see... Okay. Yeah, Cause I was... I just like, came up here. Cause there's something with the pots, maybe. Right? Oh, maybe you're trying to break... Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, get them close to them. Oh. He was right there. That was it didn't do anything, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Maybe it isn't the pot. No, no, he's gonna try to kill you. I like how he keeps walking too, that's why I like too. Like, like, being sarcastic, obviously. It's the fact that literally, yeah, it just keeps going. Like, it never gives up and be like, no, like... Yeah, I don't see anything, I'm really confused actually. Look, I hit that switch. Like, I think it just activates this, honestly. 
But I'm telling it. you, really. I, okay, so come back over here. Okay, Honest, real quick. Look over the edge. You can't walk off. Oh, oh okay. It's cool. It keeps going up. Okay, I didn't notice that before. Yeah, it's hard to notice that, right? Yeah, it literally looked like there was nothing there. But then again, let's be honest, obviously that would have kind of been the next step. Either the down path or the, you know. There we go. Oh, and then the, the, the other one I loved was like, it was like these little kids, like, like not little kids, but you can tell they're like middle school or high schoolers. And it was all dumb where like, they were- I think I can go back now because I got one of the fruits. Yeah, you got the strawberry, that's why. Then I uh, go back. Uh, it's a ghost, that's why. Is it? It might be, actually. So there might be a power pellet somewhere here. Oh, no. Hmm. I will see her now. Huh? Okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Give up hope. Okay. Give up hope, jeez. No, I think about it. If you like, and I was like, no, please don't think about it. <laughs> Even my English teacher, she's like, please don't listen to this kid's advice and try to think about it. Like, no, is it just to collect it, guys? I, 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 I think it was just to collect it. You know what? I think you probably can defeat those guys with the metal suit, but obviously there's no metal suit around. And so. it wasn't there on our door that I still couldn't open because I don't have the food for it either yet. Yeah. How that happened? That's weird. So that's why it's like, I guess I missed something like before. Yeah. And then that's when you get to this point, you're kind of like, where am I supposed to do it? Like, no, I guess you already missed it. Jack oh. is back. Oh no, I already know what's gonna happen. It oh, actually happened. Yeah, and he actually shows up. Oh my god, I was right! Oh, he eats Pac-Man. No, and then Pac-Man eats him. Okay. The eel uh, from, um... Plano were pretty creepy. Dude, those ones are random, that's why. Well, I mean, the ones from Mario are pretty random, too. So I, I think the Plano ones are worse, honestly. Honestly, because of the color scheme and the fact that they're like plant, like monsters too, they're not like water ones. Honestly, they kind of were worse because think about the fact that that's a world where they're literally like walking on land. Like, the thing literally just comes out of a freaking hole and like eats people. Yeah. Like, obviously, same thing kind of goes with the eel too. Could you imagine literally just exploring the ocean and suddenly you just get attacked? Like, I understand that too. But literally, the explanation in Odyssey is that they literally say it's love nest. Mm. So think about it. When animals are usually in heat, they do get more aggressive. So obviously the eels probably aren't usually aggressive, except the thing is Mario probably bothers them, I guess you would say. So Mario like, doesn't let them get it on. I, well, I wouldn't really, well actually yeah, I wouldn't say that. It's probably the implication. But the point is I'm saying like, yeah. Mario harasses animals, doesn't let them get it on. And then also eels are, more right eels are usually violent in the first place too. Like if they find a prey that's the same size as them or smaller, they will try to attack it like they don't really care and then if you try to get near like the animal to kind of like help it out like the more you know, like real life ones they'll snap at you because they just don't want to interfere with like them trying to like get their prey so like you just kind of have to stand back and be like okay what am i supposed to do like i'm sorry buddy but like like uh, i want to turn that way close to late dang it Yo, Inky ruined everything, bro. Oh, we're a little bitch. He is a little bitch, bro. Inky, you little bitch. This is why nobody likes him. Oh, God. This is why Pinky wants the Pac Man dick, not yours. Oh, God. There you go. Clear. I love Pinky. We were talking about Ghost of Adventure. I thought Pinky from that show was cute. Honestly, she kind of was bad. I'm okay. <laughs> She was kind of down bad, She you was kind of bad, but... Oh, God. Oh, that was cute. I liked all of designs. All of designs were pretty fun. Yo, I didn't realize until now that the voice actress for, for Pinky was the uh, voice actress for Rainbow Dash from My Little Pony. Wasn't there something here? I guess I just saw something here. You did grab it earlier. That it was, was like, cool. right now, as I was walking out of here, I swear I got here, I nah. saw something here. That was weird. Anyway. That was your imagination, bro. I guess it was, yeah. It was. Are we really going to explore the ocean again? Well, yeah, because we came back out to get the thing, remember? So I have to go all the way back down now. 
Yeah, what's your name? Terra Strong is. Oh no, you said Pinky Pie, huh? No, I said freaking. Did you say Twice Fargo? Ra no, Rainbow Dash. Uh, I don't know who the hell it is. Like... It's the one that's like. Oh people. shit. It's the one with the freaking. Wait, wall. no, there is nothing to do up here. This is the end. Shit. I mean, you can't flip to the No, back. that's it. You probably have to go down, that's why. You screwed yourself over. No, this is it. There's nothing else. Oh, okay, whatever. So, which is the way out then? The freaking door? Yeah. No, that's the two beans. I don't know, I guess you just have to go back then. Huh. Can I even go back? To what? No, see, that's, that's the way over there. Yeah, what am I missing? What the heck? Yeah, go back underwater, bro. But look at that one, see, it's so weird. Hold on. Try it one more time. Okay, so there's stuff right. Does he have a gas tank? No. Okay, good, because I was gonna say, like, if this is one of those games where they make you, like, freaking do shit, where you have to, like, like. There's one chest was over here, and then one chest was, like, over right. Oh my god, it's right like, there. It's right here, for instance. Oh my god. It's right there, bro. Okay. Oh! Did you already. No, dude, there's multiple paths up here. I didn't miss it, it's so weird. Yeah, that's what I'm... Oh my god! I'm okay. Hey, Jonathan. Yeah, there's, no, there's no chest here. Hey, Jonathan, this hasn't even happened yet. Like, chill. No! I already know what's to come. Oh, okay. jeez. Yeah, what I thought you had said for a moment, I thought you had said that she had the same voice actress as, as Twilight Sparkle, which is Tara Strong. No, but yeah, no. I was gonna say, Tara Strong comes out as a lot of stuff as well, so that's the, the discussion I was gonna start. Yeah, Tara Strong works as everybody. If they made a TV movie about you, a cartoon movie about you, they, she'd probably she'd voice probably you too. Voice. Come on, yeah. Or voice the main character or something. Well, I'm gonna say if it was about you, she'd probably voice you too. No, she would. Oh, she would. Oh, no, she would. It would come out terrible. Ugly. Then who would voice you? Me. No, it has to be a professional voice actor. Nah. If it's me, Stop I Stop taking I... their jobs away, you asshole. Uh, okay, but I want to get my own job. Yeah, no, 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 because literally think about it, it's not my voice. I want to voice myself. No, that's not the way it works, though. We gotta no, respect it, it, these voice actors and their jobs. So who are you hiring to no, do your voice? No one. Okay, fine. Adam Sandler, I guess. What the fuck? <laughs> that's terrible. Tell me, dude. This sounds Adam awesome. Sandler. And then randomly he'll be like, "I'm over here trying to learn. It. I'm waiting for the Gangnam Style to start playing." It's so random, Adam Sandler. <laughs> so dumb. Adam Sandler would voice you in the movie or the TV, TV show. Rotation or whatever you know. That's weird. Who should voice me? I don't know. That's up to you to decide. Mm. Robert De Niro. He's not a professional voice actor. He's done voice acting. Oh before. shit. I didn't know where to jump. I was like, where's the nuts there? That's bullcrap. Uh, how about... I want professionals. Wait. How about, uh... Wait, is a professional. No. Quage, what the hell? Yes, your friend Quage is gonna be like... Oh, I, 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 I. He's like, hey, what's up, guys? It's me, we rabbit. <laughs> about cringy and shit. He's like, guys, I forgot my lines again. Oh. You motherfucker. Oh! The worst part is that he can get stuck in the log. That's like the stupidest thing ever. I actually got all Pac Man. Nice. I think we're almost done. Oh, dude. Yeah, there it is. Um, I found out freaking Ursa Yatsura, the new one. It's coming out the exact same day the original anime came out. Oh, really? Yeah. Because That's funny. Um, sometimes you know how like the dates are kind of different depending on different sources. The fact that in Japan it's a day kind of ahead, stuff like that. Oh, stuff like that, yeah. yeah. So it'd be like, oh, it's like the 14th. But it's like, no, actually, it was the 13th because if you consider the English, like, release dates and stuff, so, like, they kind of go into you all. You bastard, why don't you ever to fucking double jump off these pieces of shit, right? Okay, let's go. Bruh, where are you going? I don't know. Where did he go? He went off screen, yeah. I, how? You saw that, right? Wasn't yeah. that, like, the most random shit? I'm telling you, these, like, bonus stages are garbage, dude. Whoever made them, I'm kidding, just get off. Start calling people out. <laughs> 
Whoever made them is a little bitch that deserves to get shot. Oh god. Just gets off crazy. Um. That was fun, you saw that? Yeah. Let's go. Oh no, it's eight. Um, yeah, it's cool that's coming out, and then like one of those like big anime sites, like the um um high dev or whatever it's called. Dive, I mean. <sighs> That um, it, this one was probably the most possible one. It, it, it fell was, off the side. The, the freaking timing. I don't know where the hell he fell off the side. That was like the random. No, thing. he just fell off the side. That was it. Literally, like, right there. It was just, like literally just to the side. So oh. that's pretty cool. It's almost coming out like almost an anniversary thing where it's exactly like so many years like, later. Like forty. Well, anime came out in eighty-two. Like forty years la later, yeah. Yeah, see, I'm doing what you said. It does not work at all. You're trying to do the thing. Yeah, they all start off way too much differently. They don't start on the same thing. Well, it's because it goes slow too, that's why. Okay, good. And then hit it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Scream my pants again. Yeah, it's pretty cool that um Oh, I missed it. I wonder if the remake they're just gonna modernize it where like they have cell phones, or if they're gonna really do try to keep it where it's like, oh yeah, this takes place in the 70s and 80s. Who knows, huh? Because they really did, like, it, it's really dumb because the, the anime series last, um, manga series lasted until, like, the late 80s. And the implication is they changed the design even in the manga so that it looks like they're older. Oh, that's interesting. And then, yet, they're, like, 17 still. Oh, that's weird. And, like, the last chapter really is that supposedly they destroyed the school it's... and that they're running away. And that's where Lum's like, oh, do you, like, really love me? And he's like, oh, hell no. I would never tell you unless it's, like, on my deathbed or something like that. God, and I'm like, so dude, dumb. I hate it when he does that shit. A lot of enemies do that, though. They just, like, never progress. It's like, what was the whole point of wasting my time watching this? Yeah, because he always does it where he's like, I love you, and then he doesn't. Like, it's like, God, it's like your little bitch ass. That his name's Pac Buddy. I never knew that. I thought his name was Pac Dog. I thought that too. Uh, Wolf Wolf, welcome back, Master. Thanks for saving me, Wolf. I want more. What else are you saying? Wolf Wolf, some of my friends are being held behind the big Talkman gate, too. Alright, cool. I guess this is where we really do have to go and yeah. Alrighty guys, but I will have to wait till next time. That's gonna be the end for, of uh, that's gonna be the end of this part. I believe it was part five. Uh if you like what you saw, like comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Thank you, Legend John, for being here. You're welcome, man. I can't wait for more. Yeah, so next time we're gonna do the last level, I think, of the ruins. Then we're gonna head to the actual, I think, actual castle itself. So we'll do that later. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.